Dixon. I'm the executive. My name is Carrie Marsh Dixon. I'm the executive secretary of the Parks Commission. Um, Max. Max Ford Diamond, uh, Tree Warden, City Arborist, City of Boston. Todd. Todd Meesor, Director of Urban Forestry, uh, City of Boston Parks Department. Liza. Liza Meyer, Chief Landscape Architect with Boston Parks. Okay. This is a request, a hearing on the request to remove five ash trees measuring 19 inches, 13 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, and eight inches on the Conley Street side of 900 Morrissey Boulevard in Dorchester. Um, so if you'd like to make your presentation, please. Yes, good morning. My name is Echo Berquist. I'm with the Community Builders, an affordable housing developer based in Boston. Uh, this project is 900 Morrissey Boulevard. Um, it's an existing Comfort Inn hotel that we're intending to purchase and retrofit into 99 units of permanent supportive housing for people exiting homelessness. The site borders on uh, Morrissey Boulevard as well as Conley Street. Um, and as part of the Article 80 process with BPDA, we were asked to uh, redo the sidewalk on Conley Street. Um, there are five ash trees in the public right of way on Conley Street. Um, and it was initially determined that in order to redo the sidewalk, we'd need to remove them all. Um, we've since gone back uh, and in the interest of saving as many trees as possible, um, uh, determined that it's possible to retain four of those five trees. Um, so I'd like to modify my initial request to you for removal of five trees um, to reflect the removal of just the one eight inch ash tree. Um, the removal of that tree will be, uh, it, it's right where the driveway, the new driveway into the property will be. Um, but we've determined that the other ones, we can modify our sidewalk uh, redevelopment design to accommodate those existing trees. Um, we uh, have partnered with an arborist, Dan Strom, who's, who's I believe here in attendance, um, and he did an assessment of the health of the trees, uh, could speak to that if that's of interest. Um, otherwise, uh, I uh, am happy to share more details about the project or the request for the removal of this eight inch tree. Um, do you have a, sure. Do you have a plan that shows the tree? Yes, I don't think I can share my screen. I was just, it seems like it's disabled, but I have a plan up and ready to share. I just granted you access. You should be okay now. Okay. Are you able to see this? Yep. Okay, so this was the what I submitted initially. So uh, keep in mind, this tree, this eight inch ash tree is the only remaining uh, tree that we're requesting to remove. Um, this will be, as I mentioned, the driveway uh, will be modified so that this is the, the driveway entrance. Um, whereas the other four trees, uh, we've determined we can accommodate uh, those existing trees within the redevelopment of the Conley Street sidewalk. And just zooming out a little bit to orient you, um, this is Morrissey Boulevard, and this is Conley Street. Here on the third side of the site is the MBTA tracks. Okay, is that your presentation? Yes. Okay. Um, Max, would you like to speak? Yep. Um, so I inspected the trees um, last month. Um, the five ash trees in question um, are, are uh, planted back of sidewalk on the Conley Street side of 900 Marcy Boulevard. Um, they are in uh, fair to poor condition currently, um, but they still are alive and healthy and showing signs of growth. Um, Thus, we are having this hearing. Um, my question um, for Echo is, and whoever else is on the design team, is the implementation of the new sidewalk and how that is going to work around the trees themselves, as well as the construction on private property um, and how that would impact um, where the trees are currently planted. I believe Mike 
Malinowski is a panelist, is that right? I think Mike could speak more to the construction of the sidewalk as it interacts with the trees. Yes, um, Michael Malinowski with Allen and Major Associates. Um, the existing trees um, sit roughly at the existing pavement grade that is there now. The proposal is to box them out um, and construct a um, tree print um, of size that is appropriate based on um, Boston Public Works standards in that area. The area behind the trees, specifically the three, which on this figure would be A, B, and C, um, is actually for the removal of pavement in that area. So it will, and that area is, is meant to be turned into a garden area. So those areas back there will have the pavement removed um, and green space created directly behind those trees. Just to clarify that what's being shown as is parking spaces is not going to be parking spaces, that's going to be garden space? That is correct. Okay. Do you have the current plan that shows that scenario? I do. I can share. See my screen? Yes, we can. So this is the updated plan that we are using for our public improvements submission. Um, you can see that these are the three trees that are being saved and boxed out with tree pits. This area back here, it will be a fenced in garden area. Um, and we have a small sidewalk and green space that's being provided behind this third tree here. Um, the tree in the middle, that is the one that is being requested to be removed. That shows for the new alignment of the sidewalk and driveway. Um, and then we have a fourth tree that is to remain at this location. We are proposing an additional street tree um, to be planted um, at this location along Connolly Street as part of our proposal. Great, thank you so much. Um, Liza, do you have any comments? No, uh, you just answered my question, so thank you. Um, Todd, do you have any? Uh, no comments. Okay. All right, is that the extent of your presentation? Yes. Okay, so um, I think we did have some public members here. Is there, if there's anyone that would like to speak, please raise your hand. Yeah, we have one. Okay. Um, yes, good morning. My name is Yvonne Lalier, and uh, I am seeking in uh, opposition to the removal of this tree. I think uh, there is room there for what I see in the design to put the driveway elsewhere, um, outside of that area where those trees are. There's no need to remove that tree. And uh, some efforts should be made to save that tree, just as the others which are being saved. If there is a garden space, um, why not save the trees? A tree is a living being and you are killing the tree. It's not a removal. The tree is not going to be put someplace else. Just be aware that that's what you're doing. You're killing a tree, a living being that produces shade. It produces beauty and it um, uh, absorbs water that we're going to need in the foreseeable future. Um, and it provides just benefits that you cannot provide with a, with a, um, a driveway. I oppose vehemently the removal of this tree. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak? Okay. Um, 
Max, would you like to explain that what happens from here, please? Yep. So um, we have two weeks to make a decision or determination um, based on the outcome of this hearing. Um, the project now has changed from the removal of five trees to one tree, um, which of course changes the amount required for the bond. Um, if the hearing is um, approved by myself and the commissioner, um, the project is eligible for reimbursement of said replacement bond. The amount to be reimbursed is dependent on um, the amount of diameter that is replaced within the public right of way. So you noted that you're going to replace one tree. So if that tree was a three inch diameter tree and you're removing an eight inch diameter tree, um, you would be um, given the money back for the value of that three inch tree based on the $550 per diameter inch um, bond that we currently charge for each tree that is removed. Um, the tree that is replacing the one that is removed um, will have to be alive and healthy for two years after it is replaced. Um, at that time, after the two year period is over, you can request your reimbursement for the value of that tree. We will inspect the tree and if it is alive and healthy, we will then uh, remit payment to the proponent for the cost of that tree. Right. Um, are there any questions from the team? Uh, Mr. Stom, it looks like you have your hand up. Dan, you can speak. Dan? Hi, can you hear me? Yep. Hi, sorry about that. Hi, uh, yeah, so I, I'm the uh, the arborist from Bartlett Tree Experts. Um, I, I came out to, to view the trees as well, uh, give my site assessment and provide some recommendations. And um, glad to hear that the, the goal is to retain as many of these trees as possible. I think that's the, you know, a great, a great intention. Mm -hmm. One consideration I had was that the, uh, the ash trees are susceptible to emerald ash borer. Uh, the invasive insect that's moving in. And I'm just curious if there's any uh, plans from the city side for treatment or management of that problem going forward. Yep, we do have a treatment plan in place and we've already treated over a thousand of our street ash trees uh, and we'll continue to do so uh, over the next handful of years and then continue every two years with that cycle as well as a pruning cycle to go hand in hand with it. Perfect. All right, that's my only question. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody right. else? Any other questions, comments? All right, seeing none, we can end the hearing. Um, as Max outlined, you'll hear from the Parks Department within two weeks with the determination about the tree. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you.